Hello! Today on the channel we're going to be unboxing Kamakura, the Green Ninja, part of the G.I. Joe Classified Series uh, figures from Hasbro. Uh, this is number 61 in the line. Uh, this was an Amazon exclusive actually. I think most of the ninjas were. There was this one and the Blue Ninjas 2-pack. So yeah, this is a pretty cool looking figure. Um, I do believe this is one of the first ones to come in the plastic free package. I might be wrong, but as far as G.I. Joe is concerned, I think it was. Uh, yeah, we just saw the front of the box. Here's the back. Get a kind of a shot of everything it comes with. And there's the side, like I said, number 61. And the other side, got a picture of him with his mask on. Pretty cool. And then the top. Whoa, smash the camera. Never like doing that. There we go. So it makes everything out of whack. Good job, good job. There we go. Okay, number 61. And your barcode legally is on the bottom. Yeah, let's sit it here and kind of get a little closer look at everything going on. With the box, you got your 4 Plus. Warning. Um, and this is very looking like a comic book, in uh, comic book inspired um, front artwork here with this cartoony kick to the head of a Cobra infantryman. Yeah. Kind of funny, but I don't know. These plastic free boxes are just not my favorite. All right, to the back. Kamakura, and he is almost 6'2". There's everything he comes with, so you're going to get a uh, head without a hood on it, and then the cowl piece, kind of like a Storm Shadow came with. A couple of swords, looking like a double-bladed, I don't know, bow staff. Um, I don't know what this is. Oh, that goes on his back. That's, that's his sword holder. Uh, a knife, an Uzi, a pistol and two swords that I believe would hook into here, I think. We'll find out. And there he is, a digital render. And there's your bottom legally stuff. All right, let's set them here. There are two pieces of tape. We'll just flip it over and get to the other one. Number one, cut. Number two, clear. All right, get that on, no blood, fantastic. Here we go, the Green Ninja. Whoops, as I ripped the box. I don't think I'm keeping the box anyway. I just don't like this plastic free stuff, so I don't really care. Rip it up all day, I don't care. Okay, let's see. There's your uh, gun box, our, our ammo case. This one does have a piece of tape on it. Some of them do, some of them don't. This one does. Still no blood, fantastic. And the code is one, two, three, four, five. Okay. There's all the stuff. Let's get this out of here. All right, let's get a tilt down. You're not going to see nothing if I don't. There we go. Oh, I thought it was open on the end. Whatever. Now it is. some some of these guys here I usually just rip these open I'm gonna waste my time with cutting tape I'm tired of cutting tape although it's got a big piece of tape there and we can sh shove them on down slide them on down it's not sliding all right there we go and then these two. Oh, there's two. Interesting. Oh, I see. You got one that's one full piece, and this one is the one that cuts in half. Very cool. All right, I think I am. This is going to be a pain in the butt to get out. Oh. Yeah, I'm just going to have to clip it, I guess. Now maybe I can slide it one way, then in that we're gonna have to get the other piece of tape off too. Gonna have to do at least two. I, for the love of goodness, cannot get this tape off. 
All right, exacto knife it is. Really, I just don't want to hit that weapon. I think I did all right. This one's kind of close. Got it. All right, so, ooh, no blood. Good. Get those tools out of here. Let's finally get these guys out. What an adventure. Adventure in tape cutting. All right, come on. All right, that's the two piece. Did I really push that? There we go. Oh my gosh, I cannot stand this plastic free stuff. It takes forever to get stuff out. Okay, go on. We will need this back because we've got to cut these ties now. All right, there's just the one here. And then two more to the side that I cannot get. All right, let's see if we can get two for one. There we go. All right, let's pull them out. Cool. Very cool. Get these things off of here. All right. Go on. Nice. It's a pretty cool looking finger. All right. Let's put his other head. Now well, let's just do the uh, let's do the articulation here. Then we'll kind of look at the accessories. All right. There's your head up. There's your head down. I'm guessing it's going to be about exactly the same as this head, as the chin and everything looks about the same. Yeah. All right. And he does have the neck ball joint, so you get a lot of extra movement. You got the ball joint up inside. Very nice. Very nice. I like the movement on these heads of the G.I. Joe figures. They're pretty cool. And of course, I love the that all the figures have the butterflies love it all right and then he's got a peg going on a rocker for his shoulder pretty standard stuff and he's got a bicep cut right there that's super tight but there it goes 360 on that all right no pins double jointed elbow there so he's got a big muscle there so it only goes to about right there and then okay the hands are up and down because they're sword hands this one is also up and down. Yep, same deal. He's got his ab crunch. There's your ab crunched forward, ab crunched back. And I'm just noticing this, this little, that's kind of weird that it kind of moves on its own. But it's got this little ball on here. I wonder what hooks into that. Just trying to, oh, okay, it's this. Much like Storm Shadow, I believe, had one of these. Makes it look like he's got his tight on bands coming off. That looks good. Good. One accessory down. We might as well do this one too. This is the uh, the sword one. I don't know which is up and which is down. It's kind of the same either way, I guess. Just slap it in like that, I guess. Pop it in. All right. All right, where are we? We are at the waist cut. So it does have a waist cut that can go 360. It is just a ball joint, so you can go kind of right and left and move it anywhere you need to. So very good. He's got a standard ball joint for his leg here. So you got your kick out to there. Very nice for a ninja. Kick forward, oh yeah. Kickback on these is not much at all because they always pop out. I don't know why they do that on these G.I. Joe figures. Uh, you got a thigh cut, very good. You got double jointed knees with no pins. Beautiful. Uh, does he have a boot cut? He does have a great boot cut. I love how that looks. Fantastic. And you've got a front facing peg on a rocker there for the foot, okay. Pretty cool. Let's get a better focus going. All right, let's kind of look at some of this other stuff he comes with. So if you take this off, you can put this on, just like Storm Shadow, like his hood is around his neck. There's mask, I guess. Oh my gosh, that's tight. There we go. All right, cool. 
And he's got that logo that was kind of the same for Snake Eyes, the movie. All right, he doesn't have any holsters for his pistol. Does he have one for his knife? I guess not. Hmm. He's got this hood too. You just have to uh, put it on before you put the head on. You put the head in and then you snap it in. And he's got all these accessories. So there's that that uh, double bladed bow staff, Darth Maulish weapon, and then one that can come apart. No, they're already made to be apart. Okay, it was just in the package like that, but. They're just kind of swords also. And then, well, I guess it's just made to be this one. I don't know why they didn't just make it so you could pull it apart. They give you two exact. I don't know, but it looks exactly the same as this. Just it's supposed to be like a split, I guess. And of course you got your pistol and two swords. Let's see how these swords fit in the back here. Sword number one. Sword number two. Looks pretty good. Can it go all the way down? Yeah. It looks good. I like it. You can go like that. That looks really good. Nice. There's Kamakura. I like him. All right, let's bring this camera over oh, here-ish. Let's do some scale. Well, we'll show you everything that he comes with here. There's those bow staff weapons. There's his other head. There's his cowl. There's his knife. And there's his pistol. So that's everything you're gonna get in the box right there. Wipe those accessories away. And let's throw some other figures here for scale. What do we got? Uh, well, we've got some more ninjas. Storm Shadow. Whoop. Come on, Storm Shadow. Help me out here. Leg is out of place. There we go. There we go. And we've got Snake Eyes. Very good. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He's going to go down. Snake Eyes, come on. There you go. Ish. I don't know. Having a troubling time standing up here. I don't know if my desk is kind of funky back here. What? He does not want to stay up. There. Just going to have to do the lean back. Lean back. There we go. Let's get it all centered up. And how about a focus? There we go. There is your Kamakura crew. Stay tuned for some posing. Thanks so much for watching. There we go. 
There is your comic. There is your com. What the hell is this guy's name? 